All right, Mobile High Squad. Now, there's also another detail that I haven't mentioned to you guys, um, and it's pretty major. Um, RJ and I have been debating whether to reveal this to you guys, um, and it does have to do also with the move. Mabu High Squad, that detail and news as well is that. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. We're gonna. <sighs> Okay, you know what? I, I, I feel like it will be better if I reveal it when it happens. Okay, that's what we're gonna do, Mabu High Squad. Sorry, sorry. Not gonna say exactly what this awesome news is. Um, but you guys will find out very, very soon. Promise. Just remember this vlog when I talk about it in a future vlog. When this news happens, okay? <laughs> So guys, I have some news about Sahara here. Our Sahara is no longer a little girl. She's a young lady now. Mobuhai Squad, Sahara is now menstruating. See those little dots over there too? It stained our couch. We have to buy Pampers. I've never had a female dog before, so I, I've never experienced this. But yeah, dogs have periods as well. And now she's, she's having her first period. Sahara, this is interesting. The learning experience. I was wondering why, like in the past week, we did our research, but in the past week, Sahara's been super cuddly. And apparently that's one of the symptoms of them going into heat. Um, so Sahara here, yeah, is she's she's bleeding from her from her female thing. And Cypher has been so eager. Like in these past few vlogs, you might hear Cypher going ah, 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 trying to like play extra hard with Sahara. Well, we realized it's because he's trying to mate with Sahara because she's in heat. Sives, that's your sister. But RJ and I were happy to know that you're straight. <laughs> Even if you were gay, it's okay too. <laughs> oh, Sives. But um, Cypher is fixed. He's got no balls, so they can't mate. But we're gonna have to um, spay Sahara now. By the way, if you're new to the vlogs, welcome to the channel. My name is Mikey Bustos. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this vlog and hit the subscribe button. Come join the Mobu High Squad. We will be your daily dose of positive vibes online. Yes. Okay, Sives. So in case you're just joining us, RJ and I are getting ready to move out, guys. Um, in yesterday's vlog, we announced that we're moving to a place called Sonia's Garden. And the reason why we have to move is because uh, here in the Philippines, they've announced that there will be a lockdown in effect on the uh, 6th, so the end of next week. And that's a problem because RJ and I, as you may or may not know, are building our future home, our house, which is, you know, in the final stages of completion now, but it's this final stage that is the hardest, the most stressful, and the most intensive. Like we need to be the most involved at this final stage, which is, you know, the installation of various appliances, um, decor, like painting and adding air conditioners, furniture, what else, smart systems, solar panels, random things like this. So a lockdown would be a problem because our future farmhouse is outside of Metro Manila. So now, our resolve for that is to just stay at a place that is in the same region as the farmhouse, which is kind of near the farmhouse, so that if there is a lockdown, we can still visit the farmhouse on a regular basis to help keep this process of the house building going. Because I don't know, like if, if we didn't and this lockdown were to keep us from you know, going to the house and it delaying things more, our house won't be done till like next year, like middle of next year, seriously. So um, we're being proactive by moving to a place called Sonia's Garden, which is out in a place called Alfonso or Tagaytay, so it's near there, in Cavite. Beautiful, gorgeous place um, run by our good friend, Tita Sonia Garcia. And OMG, I think we're gonna be living there for the next three or four months, even though the lockdown supposedly will end August 20th. But not gonna trust that because 
as we've seen in past lockdowns, things get extended. It gets extended and extended and extended. So we're not gonna like leave our luck to the virus. We're just gonna be proactive this time. We're gonna move out. We're gonna rent a beautiful cabin over in uh, Sonia's garden. And yeah, that's just the way things are gonna have to be. And you know, this uh, Delta variant is really spreading like wildfire here in the Philippines. Yesterday, there was like something like 8,000 cases. That's a lot. That was like the, those are numbers that are like the last time we had a lockdown. You know what I mean? Very high. Our medical system is starting to get overburdened. So. So yeah, it's kind of getting scary guys. Be safe out there, please. Wear a mask. Let's help make this stop this virus from spreading already because we all want to get back to our lives right following and chasing our dreams and back to our normal lives so anyway so yeah that's what's happening now so rj is going crazy ordering stuff packaging stuff i'm busy working um just finished the ants canada video today things are being put into boxes like ordering stuff for my diet which omg i'm gonna talk about later guys it's getting crazy and on top of that guys we were we initially said we would be moving by next Wednesday to Tita Sonia's garden but RJ says we're gonna try to move by next Tuesday Tuesday OMG that's two sleep sleep sleeps <gasps> seriously OMG I can't believe we'll be moving out of here ah! um, but this condo of course will still be ours we're just gonna shut everything off even the fridge apparently and as for all my other pets and ants um, our helper at the LC will be here uh, to take care of them. Um, she can come visit even if there was a lockdown She can come visit here because she lives in Manila um, to make sure all the animals are fed every day and taken care of Oh, what a giant next few days up ahead guys, but seriously, I think this is a good change RJ and I are ready for like new energy new environment high productivity out in Sonia's garden They have good internet We'll be eating organic food everything all the products we'll be using will be like eco-friendly like down to the shampoos and like soaps the detergents they use to clean it's all eco-friendly so we'll get a taste of what it's like to live an eco-friendly existence and they farm everything they they eat seriously like they grow everything so we'll, RJ and I think we'll learn a few things about farming when we're there there's lots of wilderness for me to film Ants Canada videos look for bugs catch them gonna bring a few ant farms with me just in case and test tubes in case i find little bitty queen ants or something or giant queen ants i don't know uh so yeah it's an adventure ahead guys oh now guys in terms of my new diet regimen it's not even a diet regimen it's like a nutritional overhaul like look at what i'm eating today like so much broccoli this is actually half i've eaten the other half already and like a whole boiled chicken breast and like carrots and stuff i ate two whole packages of alfalfa just right out of the package no no dressing or anything i've learned to love like eating foods that are nutrient dense so i can meet all my nutrients um if you're new i've been on this like newfound journey of eating foods that nourish my body and help me meet all of my daily nutritional requirements and it's really been helping me even at the gym guys let me show you something wait so rj bought this weighing scale i don't keep track of how much i weigh but in my mind for years and years i've always been around 150 to 155 like around there it was just what i've always weighed but guys Guys, check out how much I weigh now. Okay, 77.65 kilograms. Okay, let's calculate that in pounds. Five kilograms to pounds. Guys, I'm 171.189 pounds. Oh my gosh, I have never weighed this much. And I know you're like, what? You want to weigh more? Um, yes, but guys, it, it's weight that is muscle mass mostly. Okay, guys, I'm gonna take off my shirt. Don't panic, all right? This is a family-friendly channel. I'm not stripping. I just want to show you how much of a body transformation eating properly mixed with good gym routine does. Watch, okay? Oh my, look! <laughs> guys, I have like a B cup. It's so weird. I've got like almost 16 pounds of weight added. Like I'm truly bulking, but the proper way, like I don't have a pot belly. 
um, even though I'm eating so much. So yeah, it's like clearly working, guys. Like, it's like so much muscle mass. Look at, what, what's that? Oh my gosh, look at that, OMG. And can you believe I've only been eating like this for, this is my third week now, guys. And it's really like, I, I feel like I'm carrying an extra person on my body. I, it feels like I'm wearing like a huge costume. Seriously, it doesn't feel real. I wake up in the morning and I feel so heavy. But anyways, point is, I'm really loving this new fitness journey. My skin is better, my sleep is better, my mood is better. My mind, wow, I can think, my, my mind processing has increased at least three times. Like, my debating skills with RJ have been on point. <laughs> um, every time we have debates. Uh, yeah, it's just, I'm loving this new lifestyle of health, seriously. Energy level skyrocketing and oh my gosh, I'm 171 pounds. I've never been this much So I'm gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna keep clean bulking um, Working out and just see how far I can take this guys. Oh my gosh Imagine I imagine guys. I start like bodybuilding like this is my new hobby uh, No, but I, I, I enjoy feeling good and eating healthy um, and in case you guys are new uh, the app I'm using to keep track of all of my macronutrients and micronutrients um, is called chronometer it looks like that guys chronometer just download it enter your current weight and how, if you want to lose weight and if or if you want to gain weight in my case it was to gain weight I wanted to gain half a pound at least every week I'm gonna put that in and then it you just basically put all the food that you eat see this is all the food I've eaten today already it calculates how much of each nutrient you've like met in that like from based on what you've eaten that day um, and see all of these green bars it means that I've completed that nutrient for the day so I've had all my iron that I need for today all my vitamin A that I've needed folate and vitamin C almost pretty much almost done all my protein today because I've had a once that's done my protein requirement for the day is done see it's so cool it tells me how many calories I've burned um, how many calories I've consumed um, how many I still need to consume in order to gain right um, but clearly I've been gaining more than half a pound I think per week um but yeah this is just open my eyes like when you guys download this app by the way hashtag not sponsored when you guys download this app the first thing you'll realize is if you're like if you were like me that what you've been eating for years and years was not enough to meet your goal whatever your goal was and for me like i thought i ate healthy like i ate vegetables guys i ate lots of meat i fasted from white rice and grains because i was kind of on like a keto sort of something i did if so i only ate like in the afternoon right so i was slim but you know i wasn't what i wanted to be fitness wise so guys anyways i highly recommend chronometer it will change your life. Guys, I have a question for those of you uh, with female dogs. Does spaying the females mean she won't have her period anymore? I I'm planning on spaying her. I'm curious, let me know. See, look, Cypher's right on her tail and he's always trying to sniff her thing. See, look, look. Cyphs, that's your sister. All right, guys, let's hear our positive affirmation for Saturday, July the 31st. This is the moment I take my power back. There you go guys, say it with me. This is the moment I take my power back. Hope you enjoy today's positive, empowering affirmation. All right guys, so some of you expressed in past vlogs that apps like Chronometer and like even weighing scales can lead to eating disorders. Um, so when I read that, I'm like, OMG, uh oh. I really thought about it. I'm like, do I have an eating disorder? But then I realized, is it considered an eating disorder if you're trying to eat like extra healthy? I don't think so. I, I really like the feeling and I actually like the food. So every time I do things in excess, which tends to happen when I'm extremely passionate about something, I stop to make sure it's not coming from a place of like emptiness or fear or some kind of like negative um, psychological subconscious like need. 
if that makes sense. Do you guys know what I mean? Just to make sure I'm in check and that something doesn't become a mania or, wh or whatnot. Uh, but yeah, I don't think this is an eating disorder. I, I, I don't think it qualifies as an eating disorder if I'm like going out of my way to eat extra healthy. What do I think about moving out? I, I think it hasn't kicked in yet. Um, briefly yesterday, as I was laying down to sleep in our bed, suddenly, I think for a moment, it started to kick in and I felt so much sadness. Um, because, you know, just knowing that for the next little while, unless we bring that bed to the future house, like these were gonna be the last two nights that we would sleep in, in that bed. And like, we have, don't think dirty guys, but RJ and I have had so many memories in that bed. You know, just so many memories. Conversations, um, waking up, me and RJ's different schedules over the years. Like for about a year and a half, I did morning radio. So I remember having to get up at like 3.30 a.m. or four in the morning and RJ's still sleeping. And you know, all the nights of RJ staying up to like two or 3 a.m. and me asking him to lower the light on his cell phone. Just like little random things, guys, just that started to replay in my mind. And, and my, my memory rewound back all the way till when I first moved in here and RJ and I like slept here. Like my mind literally did like a sudden rewind of like the past eight years in this condo. Um, fights, all the fights we had and like, you know, just random things guys. OMG. That was when I started to feel a little bit of sadness because it's like, oh wow, the memories. And I know I'll have brief moments like that from now until the time we move out. But again, guys, this condo is still ours. And by the way, it's for sale in case any of you are interested to uh, buy it. It's for sale, clean title, I own it. No, you can trust us, right? No funny business. Um, just email us at mikeyjbustos at gmail.com. So yeah, guys, uh, it's just a weird time and it's happening really, really quickly. Oh, Mabuhai Squad. So things are arriving because, you know, we're ordering a bunch of stuff. But this here, this thing that just arrived is really, really awesome and actually has a lot to do with what we've been talking about today. Mabuhai Squad, check out what just arrived in the mail. <laughs> 